summertime, 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 summertime. Here in the desert. Yeah. Happy summer to all of you out in Palm Springs point of view That's land. Right. It's summer solstice. And it's hot Woo! here. The it's heat begun. is up. It's time to dive in that <laughs> pool. That's right. Okay, we have a lot to talk about. It seems there have been many holidays happening. Uh, we, we had Father's Day. We had Juneteenth. We had the summer solstice. That's right. And today we have a special feature we were telling you about. We were at Misty's consignment and we sat down with Tyler Davis to talk about that's Misty's, right. the history, and her role, and coming all up, the excitement that's Coming up in happen. just a few moments. So that's don't forget, we want you to like and, and subscribe. subscribe so you can follow everything that we're doing here. Palm Springs Point of View on YouTube. So this is the first year that Juneteenth has actually become a holiday. Yes. And you know about some of the events that went on here in the yes. desert. Yes. Celebrating this national holiday, there were two great events in town. One up at the James O. Jesse Highland Unity Center. It mm. was food, it was festivities, it was music, lots of fun. There was even a king and queen, like royal pageant wow. master and mistress, yeah. And then in the local park here downtown, the Francis Stevens Park, another celebration. So Palm Springs does like to celebrate and party. And you know, any time of year is a good time to go on the search for vintage finds, estate sale, exactly. consignment, furniture. Who knows? You, you always need something from Misty's, right? And we dropped in. Let's take a look. There is nothing like a day of consignment store <gasps> Ooh, shopping. Oh, our I favorite things. <laughs> and if you live in the Coachella Valley, chances are you are a lover of vintage furniture. That's right. Perhaps you bought a second home and, you know, this I know people place. who have furnished their entire house I've done that. in Misty's. I've done that. Okay, so we know. We're going to do a little shopping That's today, right? Because right? we're here at Misty's Consignment Store. <laughs> inside of Misty's in one of the very inviting vintage seti well curated little areas with Tyler Davis the <laughs> owner of Misty's hey Hi. Tyler it's Hi great guys. to be with you today thank thanks you for, for having, having us yeah thanks for having me yeah. so tell us about when did Misty's open so Misty's opened 12 years ago but we've been at this location 10 years mm -hmm. Um, and then, so I pretty much helped my mom open that location, yeah, 12 years ago, and then we moved over here, which was quite a feat in itself, as you can imagine, moving every single piece of furniture, Whoa. every single piece of art, yeah. yeah. And your mom mm -hmm. being Misty, the namesake, yep. right? Exactly. And you took over mm -hmm. the business entirely yep. just recently, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, about two years ago now. Okay. Yeah. Palm Springs, the Coachella Valley was known for celebrities, exactly. second homes, estates. Is that how the business started with like yeah. estate sales? Yeah, so my grandmother and my mom actually started with auctions and estate sales. Mm -hmm. And they would just go out and then purchase and then resell the items. And so how it started was a customer came in and said, I actually have some items I'd like you to sell for me. And that's where the model started to begin to uh -huh. form. And they were like, okay, we're on to something uh -huh. here. Because your, right? your grandmother yeah. started yes. the whole, with I mean, my mom. you're up and down the 111 now, mm -hmm. yeah? Yeah. So where was your mom at the estate sale company? They started that. It was about a 700 square foot room that they started 32 years ago. Mm -hmm. In and Palm Springs. Grew, yep, exactly. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. And then my mom started her own about 12 years ago. Yeah. Well, because we get furniture so often and we sell stuff so quickly, it, every time you come in, there's something new. Yeah. And we reset the store every single day. So we're constantly, as you guys saw this morning, moving furniture around, making sure that everything looks fresh and different when you come in. So people come in and they know every time they come in there's going to be something different and yeah. if they don't move quickly it could sell yeah. you can't put things on hold either can you we can hold for an hour okay yeah while you yeah. while you while measure you, yeah while you go to the dentist <laughs> yeah exactly yeah because people measure you know make sure the yeah. colors work right, talk right. to their designers yeah, yeah. And yeah. How, how does it work with people 
bringing furniture here to sell it. Is, mm -hmm. is it all done over the over the net? Do they actually bring it into you? How does that work? Yeah, so most of the time people will email me photos and I'll take a look, make sure it's something that I think mm -hmm. I can sell and based on our current inventory that we can take it. And then from there they schedule for delivery to be brought in and then we stage and sell it. Oh, yeah. So you cool. you alone are determining the, the price that it would be set to sell at? Yes, so I do all the furniture, accessories, lamps, mm -hmm. chandeliers, patio, and then we do have an art appraiser who does all the art, because that's a whole other Oh, animal. right, okay. Yeah, and we get a lot of fine art, you know, with listed artists right. who have been in auctions and things like that, so um, she is one of our key components that's been with us, she's been with us 18 years now. And you also have mm -hmm. a jewelry section. How, how does right. that work? Yeah, so um, within our business, we have two um, satellite stores, basically, um, the jewelry department and then Kim Melrose Pillows. So each of those ah, are their separate okay. entities that function within our store. Um, so they're different; they're separate, but within our building. Right. Yeah. Right. But those two things. So they have some vintage pieces, some consignment, and then Kim Melrose pillows are all brand new designer pillows. So those are the only two items that aren't Misty's consignments. And for your hours, our, our viewers can obviously go online to find yes. out. But tell our viewers about your hours. Yes. Date. So we are closed Mondays and Tuesdays. We're open Wednesday to Sunday. Wednesday to Saturday is ten to five. Sunday is eleven to five. Okay, great. And, and and I know that I just wanted to ask a question. Um, mm -hmm. If I were, were to come with like, say, a chair yeah. that I wanted to sell mm -hmm. and you like the chair and thought yep. you could sell it and yep. you sort of set a price and I'm like, that's great. Mm -hmm. What commission do you take? So we'd get 38, you get 62. 38, 62. Okay. Yeah. And then what's fun too is if it doesn't sell in the first month as a shopper, everything gets marked down 15%. Right. Okay. But on average, we move things in 20 days. Mm -hmm. And it's called exactly. Misty's Consignment. Yep. Come on by. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, guys. There is never enough time at Misty's. Oh, because there's so much to look at there. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we tried out every chair, every sofa. There, there's a lot you'd want to take home. And since things change all the time, you kind of have make to sure make you it go back. Exactly. On a weekly basis, daily basis. Yeah. Loads of fun. What a great store. Thanks for having us, Tyler. And as we all know, Father's Day was this past Sunday, right. and I'm sure we were all honoring our dads. And I posted a few pics of my dad singing Barbershop Quartet. I loved those <laughs> pictures. Those were great. So cute. <laughs> so cute. And you had time with your actual real dad live and in person my, and your family. My parents are still alive and kicking, so we're very glad to Love have them it. out here to the desert. I'll tell you, our weekend started off not very well. Our refrigerator went on the blink. Oh no! Yes, and just imagine, and the family's coming. So we made it look, we made it work regardless. We started off with a Dodger game on Wednesday oh. with, with family, and then we came out on Thursday, and then we had mom and dad and family throughout the weekend, and we played bingo at Fantasy Springs three days in a row. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, let's just say that we gave the casinos some money. Oh my. You have mom to, oh, did win. Bingo! Oh, mom won. <laughs> mom won at least. Oh wow! Is that a big thing there? It's at the a casino? very big thing. Each each day got bigger and bigger. And I love a, bingo. If you get a chance, to go. It's a lot of fun, and we had family time. It's always <laughs> good. Good to have you, mom and dad. That's great. And by the way, it was also my sister's birthday, so we pushed oh, that in there also. Oh, you pushed that in. We did it all this okay, weekend. Okay, that sounds really fun. There's a lot to keep you cool here during these hot days. That's right. And this Saturday night. Make sure you come down to the Shag store in Palm Springs yes. for a very special event. Shag will be there and who doesn't love his art and his sculptures. Fun time, we will be there. Should be a blast. And don't forget, when you're over at Misty's, tell them that you saw it here at Palm Springs Point of View, your Eats Arts Culture social media provider. That's right. And remember to check out our YouTube and like and subscribe. subscribe. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.